I need to put this away and think about it later because I literally, I can't face it now. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no that arrived although this is not super great if you know what I'm saying but I think this is a replacement for this oops that came without the beautiful dust jacket right here so they sent me a replacement an apology this is Ingram Spark in case anyone's wondering by the way how thick is this book this might just be me showing you another one of these but here's hoping I'm really nervous it definitely got really beat up. Thanks for that, Ingram Spark. I'm just saying, like, this company and I do not get along. There's, look, oh my gosh. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's like a huge divot, like, right there. Like, wh what the heck? And I probably should have tagged Ingram Spark. I'll tag them to let them know. Because it's like, this is the third time we're fixing a problem, guys. This gets sent to me. As a du without a dust jacket, so I get dust jackets. Then I order another copy and it comes without a dust jacket again. So they replace it with this. But if you look at this, I don't know, I don't wanna show you too much for spoilers, but like, look at this, this is wrecked. This is legitimately, there's, I don't even know how to show you well because of the glare, but do you see that? Sorry, just a tiny bit more. Honest to goodness, this, is what it looks like. And now I don't know, like maybe you can blame the USPS store cause like that's what the package, I mean, that's technically the USPS store's fault. I realize that, but still, still. It's like, I don't know why Ingram Spark and I have so many issues, you guys. I mean, this one's really nice. So I'm just gonna literally put this dust jacket on the copy I had that came without a dust jacket and I don't know, probably toss that one. I'm filming on my phone here because I broke my camera. <laughs> I had it on a stand here and so it actually, it wasn't, as solid as I thought it was, and it accidentally tipped over, crash landed on the floor, and this, ooh, where are you? Okay, I gotta get used to this. This little piece right here that attaches the screen to the camera broke. When I turn it on, you should be able to see me, but nothing, there's zero connection. So I won't, I don't even know if it'll work anymore, but I definitely can't see myself and that's an issue because when you're doing video like this, you've got to be able to see yourself. Otherwise you could be like talking like this off camera and you don't even know. It's not the best timing, but it's not the worst either because I actually do kind of want to take a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube after my release or at least slow down, but I wasn't planning to slow down this soon. Anyway, let's take a look at what's on the schedule because I don't even know. So we are in the week before release. Do you see all this? That's this week. That's a lot of stuff. I just want this book to be out already. Anyway, I kind of feel like I'm coasting. Like I got everything done early, but I didn't really. There's videos, read along, live stream planning, good reads, newsletter, updating my website, updating my banner, what else? signing the books when they come in. So there's definitely a lot to do. I just really don't feel that motivated right now. I'll check back in later. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're here.
started out like a movie scene, something straight out of a magazine. I cross my Sorry, not sorry for this weird angle, but I have to get all my books in because these are only gonna be here a few days. They just arrived. I did another unboxing. I've done a lot of fun unboxings the last few days because the books have arrived in pieces. I plan on taking pictures of all of this. These are some of the ideas from you guys. The number one thing that I have to try to recreate out of all these books is a castle, again, because I did this castle in the past. It was so much fun. I tried the floor spiral. It did not look great. I probably did it wrong, but it was, it was a fail. And then I'm going to try a book throne crown. And the doghouse is fun, but, but actually somebody on Instagram suggested something that took it to a whole new level, which is to recreate the book cover with Penny. <laughs> so I'm gonna make an arch out of books. Penny's gonna be the princess, and then I'm gonna make a tiny book castle, maybe, somehow. We'll see. <laughs> but this is what I have to work with. So I'm gonna go attempt to do a couple of these today and maybe I will do some more tomorrow. Got my future best-selling author earrings in from a good friend. She used my little design here and surprised me on my birthday. And I'm actually wearing makeup, so gotta make the most out of this because these books are only gonna be here for a few days. Before I forget, in the last two vlogs where I've been talking about my book release, I have been talking about uploading to five vendors and I've gotten multiple people asking me why I do that and don't doesn't that cause duplicates? So let me explain the really short version. So draft to digital publishes wide. So that means outside of Amazon. They do publish to Amazon too if you click that box, but I just skip that box and I publish on KDP separately because I like to use their dashboard. So there's no overlap for the eBooks there because I don't click the KDP box on draft to digital I do KDP separately, but everything else is on draft to digital So that's like libraries, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, Nook. Nook is also Barnes & Noble. Apple books, you get the idea. And then obviously hardcovers are just on Ingram Spark right now, but I do the paperbacks on Ingram Spark first because they have pre-orders and KDP paperbacks do not. Like if you put up a paperback on KDP, you have to publish for people to get the book versus Ingram Spark offers pre-orders right now. So that's the number one reason. Also, I can get nicer author copies through them, although you can also do Barnes and Noble. And they have a little bit bigger reach than KDP. For example, Barnes and Noble right now will not buy books if they're published as paperbacks through KDP, but they will if they're published through Ingram Spark because there's a return option and KDP does not offer that. So there's little details like that. But the reason I still do the KDP paperback is because they are cheaper. They are very often better quality, better customer service. I don't have to pay as much for author copies once they're over there. Just in general, I enjoy working with KDP more. Kindle Direct Publishing, if you guys are like, who's Katie? Who's Katie P? <laughs> So no duplicates, they each reach different places and they help me have a wider distribution, reach more people and also get different features that I need and want, like not having to spend so much money on Ingram's Bark, for example. I hope that makes sense, but if you wanna know more, I definitely have this video on where I publish and why and how, and I really break it down quite a bit more. And then I also have this video on how to make a proof copy, AKA an author copy, because a lot of you have been asking me, how are you getting your books in advance? And it's so easy. Watch this video and check it out. I compare three different companies. Right now, I need to get back to it because all about the content this week, so much good stuff to be excited about the book. So I'm gonna go take some pictures. Thank you. 
so impressed with you, Penny. Good job. We're gonna play laser. We're gonna play ball. We're gonna give you so many balls. Because you're such a good model. Look how beautiful you are. I'm in the castle stage. Oh my gosh, I've been having so much fun doing these like bookish designs. The only one that I feel like I really conquered and was surprised that it went well was the dragon. But this is what I've got so far. I like that it's like a little more 3D than the last castle I made. A lot of you have asked me, what do I do with, you know, all the other proofs that I read and like my extras. So I actually have this shelf right down here. The majority of these are ones that I proofread so they have stuff on the inside. But there are a few that were for marketing purposes. Um, and so I can just rip out a page or two from that and I can make, you know, the little windows and doors and gangplank and whatever else. I forgot to do the one where Penny was the book cover with the arch. Oh, crap. Yeah, and she's pretty sure she's a guard dog lately. I don't know what's going on. Penny, can you cool it, please? You're not big enough to do anything. I pulled them out. I started setting it up here, but then more books came. See what's in here because I didn't expect more. I thought they were all here. It did not count actually. So, oh, you know what? These might be. You guys remember in the last vlog, I was upset with Ingram Spark because they messed up the order. Well, thank you to them for giving me 10 books for free. I think that's what this is because, yeah. It's that, so when this vlog comes out, I will probably have these up on my website for first come first serve. Plus I did order like one extra copy of all the other books. I should have ordered more. So now I have more books for photos because I didn't know these would come so quickly, but thank you to Ingram Spark for making it up to me. I appreciate it a lot. And now I'm gonna go and try to do this like photo of Penny as the book cover. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> So I'm thinking we might not get through all of them, but it'll be really fun. I want to cut out paper and put like little windows on these towers and maybe like a door of some kind, maybe like a cute little drawbridge. I use the books to make a drawbridge and then the Ginny key is like water. <laughs> But I think it'd be fun to add a few more things. And then on Saturday, I'll basically take it down throughout the live stream. So that should be interesting. I definitely was treating myself. This was more for me than anything because I just wanted to enjoy having published books for once. And this definitely makes you enjoy it. This was so much fun. Okay, it is Friday, uh, March 19th. I'm working on numbering all these orders that came through um so this is all printed out i'm going to do the live signing tomorrow and so i'm <laughs> so distracted by this music let me turn it down so i'm working on creating um a playlist i'm pulling things over when i like them into my um little behind the scenes. I'm going to make a background music playlist. This is Epidemic Sound, if you guys are curious. Um, it's what I use for my music now, and I have a little link in the comments below that if you use it, it gives me a free month if you enjoy it. So feel free to check it out if you want to, but I love the music here. Woo, it looks so good. I don't want to take it down. So what I'm thinking is to, to put the computer at this end, and then I'll sit at this end, and I'll just pull books from it and sign as I go and I'll sit there with all the orders. So what I wanna do is I have six of them left, I think, plus these little bonuses. So I wanna do little fun giveaways as I sign, add those to the first six orders as I draw. And I also took Polaroids from different angles. I thought this was really fun. I'm going to also give away a few Polaroids of the castle because this is a one time only once this is taken down it's never coming back so i thought i really enjoyed taking polaroid pictures i thought i would take a few extra and here is the one i made for the book release party i wanted it to kind of match the other one but be different and i'm so excited to hang out with these ladies they all played a role in the release of this book um, Brittany and Jesse are my critique partners. Mandy is my cover designer and Natalia is my editor. So to be able to hang out with them is the coolest. All right, I've got everything. 
everything ready, the cover's up, manuscript is up. I know it's a day early, I was going to publish on Saturday, but I just have this gut feeling that something is gonna go wrong. Here it is. All right, it's still Friday, February, February, <laughs> March 19th. In case it isn't obvious, I've been very relaxed the last couple days. I've been treating it almost like accidental self-care days where I just do whatever I want. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of fun with the bookish castle. Uh oh, she fell down. This is all prepped for the live book signing. I'm not even nervous. I'm just super excited for it. Like I wish I could do it right now, but we're still waiting on a fun little detail. I ordered, I guess I could tell you guys, I ordered, um, signed copy stickers from my friend Mandy Lynn because she has a sticker shop and she, I have connections. So like, I was like, can you make me stickers? And she's the best. She's going to add signed stickers as an option to her store. I can link her store below if you are interested. I think I still have discount code Bethany10 for everything. But anyhow, this is all the orders. I don't know if you guys can tell how thick that is. My critique partner, Brittany, was like, you've got, you've been doing so much today. I was like, yeah, that's the um, Instagram highlight reel. I have gotten hardly anything done. <laughs> uh, just content. Just been posting about the books, having fun. I posted about the Curse Hunter for the read along because that live stream is tomorrow. And you guys, if you ever want to watch them, they are still on Instagram as replays after the fact. This book was really hard to share about because at a certain point, fairly early on, things become spoilery, like right away. <laughs> so instead I shared some fun Easter eggs places that I had put little, what's the word, nods, notes, whatever, to the original retelling and that was really fun. So I actually am curious if you guys think this one or the Ginny Key has more retelling elements in it. I think the Ginny Key wins, but this is pretty dang close actually. And then the Enchanted Crown has the least, but it still has a lot. They're just definitely layered in more subtly because um, the original is very dark. Let's just leave it at that for now. But if you're curious to know more, number one, we're gonna be talking about it in the live stream release party, which I will link below too. So if you wanna watch the release party after, it's gonna be near the beginning. I'm going to share five or six different retelling elements that I carefully wove into the story. A lot more subtle than in the other books because I can't retell the Disney version. I have to retell the original. You cannot retell Disney without getting sued. So it's the original, which is again, really dark. I'm obviously in a much better place, way less stressed than the last vlog that you guys watched. I think I'm gonna go dry my hair and eat some dinner. And then maybe if I feel like it, I will work on the newsletter and or the Goodreads blog post for release day. But since release day is only Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's Tuesday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, oh my gosh, it's only three days away. Oh, that makes me nervous. But it's gonna be really, really fun. Wanna say hi to everybody? She thought I was losing my mind yesterday, didn't you? You thought I was going crazy with all those book photos, especially the one where I made her be the book cover. Oh my gosh, so funny. Saturday, February, no, I keep doing February, March 2020th. It's March 20th. Okay, I can do this. <clears throat> Let me start over. I finished the live book um, signing live stream probably two hours ago now, and I've gotten this far. So the first three here down are signed, and then I have this, this, this to go. Halfway, it looks like. So I will be signing these all of Sunday because we have to go somewhere tonight and we also have a lot of things going on Sunday. So I also probably be signing them also on Monday. My back is hurting, so I probably should take breaks and sign in pieces. And then I will put them back here on my shelf and I'll fill up the whole bookcase for my book release live stream party in just a few days.
Here are the extras that I got that I'm gonna put on my website below in case there's some left. You guys can go click that and check it out if you wanna sign copy. I'm gonna be sad to see them go, honestly, but it's very exciting. I tried to read a little bit and I'm too excited. I can't even focus, so. What do we do, pancakes? What do we do? Do we go for a walk? <gasps> or should we go play laser? Okay, let's go. It is March 22nd one day till the release um i'm about to film a video using the book case background because i mean look at that i have to right i decided to do a funny one which is um pretending to do an author interview but like very silly because i'll be interviewing myself i think it'll be funny we'll find out if it's like a toss video or keep but um, also, I hope it'll be helpful because I'm actually going to answer questions. I don't usually script things out like this, but I'm going to be two people. I'm going to be interviewing myself. So I need to know what both people say so that I'm, you know, answering myself and it looks as if it was in real time. Yeah, you get the idea. I also worked on writing the newsletter today. So I'm not sure if I should reorganize this. And I just realized I need to add all these extra books to my website before I schedule the newsletter. I need to put these on the website and then put a little, you know, about them in the newsletter. What do you think about that, Penny? Do you like your new spot? Penny is a little miffed at her spot being moved. Wanted to really quick answer a couple fun questions from this Instagram poll that I did like six months ago because most of the questions I'm going to finally answer in this author interview that I'm about to do this video. I'm about to film with this background while I still have it. But um, there were a few that I wanted to answer in this video because they were very relevant to a book release. So let's talk about that. One of the questions I realized I already kind of answered, which was, what do you do with all your proofs that aren't the final copy? And so I do have a little shelf where I just keep them and I have used them for fun projects like the book castle, which you saw where I ripped out pages and made stuff with them, but I'm not that crafty. So I've only done that like twice. Otherwise I just sort of keep them. I think I have a box in my closet of Evelyn's number proofs also. <laughs> Lauren says, how do you not go insane while publishing? And if you guys watch part two, <laughs> I think the answer is pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. But like I said in that last video, it's all about self-awareness, I think, and realizing when you are doing too much and stepping back. And then there was this question about why did your last book cover feature the woman's facing the other direction while the other women face the front? And first of all, the most obvious reason is because I don't want it to be as clear who it is because it could be three different women. I think I've settled on who I think it is now, but it could technically be the other two still also. <laughs> I kind of wrote a scene intentionally with the character that I kind of settled on it being. <laughs> I'm trying not to spoil anything. Oh my gosh. I wrote that dress on that front cover, I should point here to show you. I wrote that dress into a scene, but then I wrote it into another scene. Tell me if this is weird or not, but I am one of those authors who actually enjoy when a reader puts their own spin on it and interprets it their own way. I'm okay with people thinking this is a different character than who I think it is. Totally okay with that. Like I said, it could be three different characters. And we did that intentionally because I like the mystery. All right, the first half of the interview is done. You're gonna see a few outfit changes today and I'm going to change into something to be the interviewer for the second half later. But I decided that I want balloons in the background and I think I can get them at the dollar store. So I put on a sweater cause it's still a little chilly out and I'm gonna go to the dollar store, see if we can get some balloons. Secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream They look so good! Do you like them? Quiet voices Are you panicking a little bit? Yes! Oh my gosh! Look, it looks so 
good. And she really loves balloons, so she's pretty sure that they're for her, right? Yeah, there goes. Girl, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Yes, this time tomorrow, we'll be having a book release party. I can't wait. It feels like it's taking forever. <laughs> you gonna try from that side? Okay. There was a really big mile marker coming up. Should we see if it happened yet? <laughs> so close. We'll check back in in like five minutes, maybe 20. <laughs> it's only eight o'clock, but I mean, technically that's four hours till the release officially although if you guys are paying attention i did release the book a few days ago in paperback um, but the ebook i believe it gets sent out immediately at midnight to everybody who pre-ordered <sighs> deep breaths i'm definitely definitely feeling anxious about that also just so tired because i haven't been sleeping well i've been really anxious lately so i'm really crashing right now i did push really hard today too Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. I feel weird celebrating um, a YouTube thing on a book release day. Actually, I feel weird in general, <laughs> not gonna lie. I think I'm a little bit sad right now. I'm excited, but I'm sad because to me, this is the end and it's the beginning for a lot of people but yeah it's a rainy day i'm kind of sad i'm just sitting here by myself in my house i do remember if i think about it that i usually feel this way on release day because emotions are so all over the place i am craving a cinnamon roll so i was thinking about going for a car ride i think i'm gonna go for a car ride okay let's go are you okay do you want to go for a car ride let's go come on let's go <laughs> We're a little slow moving today. It's gonna kind of do what I want today. Before I forget though, I just finished updating my website. So now it has the Gideon chapter here and I separated it out for readers and for writers so that it's really clear what people get when they sign up for my author newsletter. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> You're like me in the morning. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go play laser. <laughs> To winter comes. Stopping at Starbucks. How's it going today? Good, how are you? Doing great, thank you. Yeah, it makes me Shout out to my critique partner, Jesse, for sending me a Starbucks gift card because, oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. So good. <laughs> you already had your puppuccino. Mm hmm, it was really good. <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Mm -hmm. p.m. Sorry for the wobbles. Let me try to like lean you on something. I'll be getting on StreamYard with the girls in about an hour. So I put my face on for something to do because honestly, oh, static. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's going on? No, but for real, I'm feeling very anxious. And the dumbest thing about anxiety is it'll make you worry about like a hundred different things that will almost never actually happen. So you spend the whole day, you know, feeling like they're happening to you, even though they're not, and they probably won't. I haven't had that many trolls, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, I know, but I'm so excited for people to read these. I can't wait. Penny, hi. We don't have time to be sad. That's what she's saying. I'm reading her little mind. She's like, listen, we don't have time to be sad. We have too much to do. All right, now I'm just rambling. I'll see you guys later. Started out like a movie scene. Something straight out of magazine. Oh, there we are. This is after the effect. After the effect. This is the replay of the live stream book release party, but it was so much fun. I was so spazzy. I have not been that ridiculous in a long time, but it was amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> the games that I created, I thought they were gonna be super simple and they ended up being super complicated. My bad, girls, if you see this, I'm sorry <laughs> again. <laughs> but they were amazing. They made it so much fun. I just think that was the coolest thing that I got to celebrate with them and that we got to talk about the book and what else I shared about some retelling elements and just things. I tried not to spoil anything, but I hinted at some retelling aspects that I included, uh, things to watch for as you read. It was so fun. It was so fun. I will say though, my computer started overheating multiple times. So I had ice packs ready to go because I expected it, but then it overheated so bad that my camera shut down and it stopped working and it went dark. So I texted my hubby in a panic and I was like, bring something from the freezer quick. And he brought this huge thing of hot dogs. I already put it back in the freezer because it was melting at this point. But halfway through the live stream, I had hot dogs under my computer from the freezer and thank goodness he was home and he just snuck that to me I tried not to say anything um, if you guys do watch the live stream you might see a hint of it as you see me slip something under my computer but I tried to be sneaky you guys know I was sad today and it is it's a gloomy day it's raining I'm always a little bit down on rainy days but this just made it so much better this was so much fun and yeah it's over. How weird is that? That it's over. Kind of bums me out. I still have a lot to do tonight, actually. I need to sign, or not sign, I need to package all of these and get them in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. I think first we're gonna go out to dinner somewhere fun and celebrate, my hubby and I, and then I'll come back and start working on packaging all of these. I'm just spinning now. I don't know what to say, how to end this. I'm terrible at vlogging, you guys, but it's been such a wild ride. Thank you for joining me on the way. It's been really intense and awesome and wonderful, and I'm looking forward to the next thing. I have plans, and I hope you guys subscribe because I will be telling you about them soon. Not yet, but soon. It's hard to wrap my mind around starting something fresh, but I think after a little bit of rest and recovery from the stress of these last few weeks, I'm gonna have so much fun getting into it, and I will see See you guys again in the next video. Bye! and bro